practical and implementation issues of knowledge management within the organization. Written by Associate Professor Dr. Svetlana Stojanova, Associate Professor Dr. Nadia Mironova, and Assistant Dr. Philip Stojanov. University of National and World Economy, Sofia, Department of Management, Bulgaria. Introduction. Knowledge is a wide conception which is in the base of an issue dating back to the ancient Greeks. In recent years, there is a trend for knowledge to be seen as a significant organizational resource. Knowledge management is a system of different management practices for knowledge recognition or creation, transfer or storage within the organizations. The effective knowledge management systems are bound with the company business goals, resulting in shared intelligence, better performance, competitive advantage or higher levels of innovations. Aim of the research. Purpose of that article is by surveying the literature sources to carry out synthesis of a model for knowledge management and examine the aspect applied to the model when introduced to Bulgarian enterprises. Knowledge management embodies the strategies and processes the organization employs in order to acquire and use in their favor the corporate memory. Knowledge management nature. What is knowledge management? Knowledge management includes support to the managers, experts, storage, exchange for knowledge, and the things described in the slide. Survey of the practice of knowledge management in Bulgarian enterprises. The survey range included 118 organizations in total, 50% of which employ over 100 people. From 50 up to 99 people, 14%. From 10 up to 49 people, 23%. Up to 10 people, 13%. Most of them are private sector organizations taking part in the survey, 89%, as 47% of them develop their international business. In areas of activity, the respondents are distributed as shown in the figure. The hypotheses provided for assessment are as follows. Organizational culture is a factor for facilitating the generation of knowledge. Information technologies improve knowledge generation. Share limited connections based on the internal communication encumber the adoption of external knowledge. Results from the research. For the first hypothesis, the scale is 4.27, which shows that organizational culture is the most important factor for knowledge generation in the organization. For the second hypothesis, assessment is 4.09, which value defines lower level of factor influence than the organizational culture. For the third hypothesis, factor for knowledge generation, the internal communications, regular staff meetings, internal information system, tutorship, coaching, etc., assessment value is 3.62 which refutes the hypothesis that they encumber the knowledge generation. Recommendations to promote the motivation for knowledge exchange by means of awards rewards, to transfer knowledge from one project to another. In many companies, this kind of knowledge transfer is done in an informal way, but it would be better to form formal, standardized and deliberated channels. To introduce the interview with the project participants and responsible people in order to analyze what happened, why happened and how it can be improved. Knowledge mapping, meaning to keep records with information and required knowledge. For example, where is it possible to take some information, who keeps it, whose competence it is and etc. To organize groups in interests 
which share common passion for something they do and learn how to do better with regular interaction among them. To transfer the best practices without copying them, but by adapting to the specific conditions of the organization. To manage competencies, for example, the competencies of the company's individual members shall be estimated and planned regularly. Thus, the current and future needs of competencies will be identified. The integral communication between business and units regarding their training followed by conversion of the goals in business results will be facilitated. To implement effective interaction between skilled employees and newly appointed ones, well-trained employees shall be retained in the company to keep the knowledge. To exchange information through technologies of cooperation, software for group work and etc. Thus, groups working apart can easily communicate with each other. To create knowledge storages, databases, computer systems, which continuously collect and analyze the company's knowledge assets. Thank you very much for your attention.